What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today we got the trailer for the first DLC pack coming to Black Ops 3. Awakening is going to be coming out on February 2nd on PlayStation and then about a month later on Xbox and PC. And I, I wanted to go through, show you guys some of the gameplay and the stuff we saw from this trailer as well as talk about these maps because they're absolutely insane. Like these maps are extremely, extremely unique and there's a nice variety here. There's kind of, you know, something for everybody, which is pretty cool. And I'm really looking forward to this DLC. So uh, starting off here with Gauntlet, this one is one of the more interesting ones we've ever seen in Call of Duty history. So this one takes place in a military training facility, but it's got a catch. So the entire map is designed around that three lane idea, like, you know, that's typical old school Call of Duty maps with three main lanes, a middle area, two kind of like side flanks and stuff like that. That's like the, the base layout a lot of maps are built off of. But with this one, each of those lanes has like its own distinct climate and setting. Like they're, they're vastly different. So one of them is a jungle. You're fighting through the jungle. The next one is there's kind of like this sub-zero arctic snowy area. And then the next one is a rainy city kind of like, you know, urban landscape. So it's like three entirely different locations put all into one map because of this military training facility that's, you know, it's kind of like a simulation place for soldiers to train. So it's it's kind of cool. Like, I think that sounds pretty interesting and it should be a lot of fun. Now, uh, next up we have Splash, which is kind of like the crazy, wacky, super vibrant, super colorful one. You're playing in an old water park. You have all kinds of things going on. Like I said, it's very vibrant, lots of bright colors. Uh, you can, you know, fight in water slides, a wrecked pirate ship, a lazy river, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. And they said that Splash is designed to drive an open flow of combat, including plenty of opportunities for underwater gameplay. So there's going to be a lot of like, you know, underwater flank routes and, and you know, things going on underneath the map, which is, uh, is kind of cool. Now, next up, we have Rise. And uh, this one's actually really interesting. So uh, the basic theme or setting of this map is it's a construction zone. The Coalescence Corporation was, you know, constructing some giant... Uh, subterranean research campus or something like that. So it's a construction zone. It's, you know, unfinished buildings and stuff like that. But Dan Bunting, when he was talking about this map, he said that a lot of it is like that old school classic Call of Duty cover to cover combat type deal. Like, yeah, there are places where you can take advantage of the wall running and stuff, but a lot of it's, you know, based on like the old school way of playing Call of Duty. And he said that they really hope that this gets adopted into the competitive kind of like rule set so that they're hoping this actually becomes a competitive map. And it sounds like they kind of like made this map for that reason. Like, it sounds like they've had that idea in their mind uh, while making it. So it should be a very balanced map, and it might be something we'll see uh, on the, the Pro Circuit and the COD World League and stuff like that, which uh, should be kind of cool. And then finally, last but not least, of course, we have Skyjacked. Uh, it's described as set in a security VTOL in the clouds over urban Zurich. Skyjacked is a reimagined version of the popular Black Ops 2 map, Hijacked. It retains the same fast and phonetic gameplay from one of the more popular maps in uh, Call of Duty history, but with a twist. Skyjacked gives players the opportunity to explore the map in a variety of new ways thanks to all new core movement system in Black Ops 3. So I'm assuming that like if you want to flank around the enemy team's you know spawn and stuff like that, you're going to be able to pretty much like jump out of the ship and run along the sides of it and all kinds of crazy stuff. So uh, it should be really cool. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, you know, they, they did a fantastic job bringing back Nuketown and making Nuketown, you know, kind of like booster pack and, and wall running, you know, usable and accessible. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with uh, with Hijack, because Hijack was a very, very fun map to play. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys later. Let me know what you guys think about this DLC down in the comments. Let me know which map you guys are looking forward to the most. And uh, check out these two videos screen if you haven't seen them yet. Let's watch, guys. Peace out.